So these are the consulting overture. Did you see these? Okay. So I sent these in an email, but they were so condensed. I can resend them now that I found them the other day. I couldn't find them. Um, so this just breaks down what everything is. And when you start looking at this, you start going, oh, there's a lot more than I was thinking it was. So the 137, that's the actual economic aerial dispensable poisons. There's you know DGI setup, um, account activation, smart farm is a big, big thing that um, I'll show you once we're finished with this that is heads and shoulders above anything out there because you can see where he's at, what he's doing. The, net, the night before, you can mark a field and say, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you, you say, I want Valor, you know, two gallons acre here, this, 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 lay your whole day out. Um, so I show a lot of that, uh, set up teams, do things like that, uh, on-site engagement. Um, I, my further clients, I, I come to them for a weekend stay, but with you guys being so close, I don't keep up the time. It's just whenever you need me, I show up. Um, checklist, um, these are just things I take you through. Physical things to check on the drone, things like that. If you've watched any of my YouTube, have you watched, did y'all see the one where there was a, a, something stuck in the hose? So it's stuff like that of just tracing. And, and the thing is, is that any other piece of equipment, you just would have taken to the dealership and you know, two or three weeks later, you would have got it back. So we don't have time for that. We can't do that. We, we, have, we have to be able to move and get things done fast. And so that's where I have learned from my years and passed down to my clients on, all right, we diagnose the problem, we fix it, we move on, we keep going. Um, and then when I help you build your trailer, or especially with Taylor or with Tanner, it's things that are, um, you know, hey, you need this in the field, 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 you need all these things. And so, um, you know, that way you are you don't get out there and you go, man, like one of the things, I'll tell you a prime example of what, uh, one of the things on the trailer is you're gonna have a, a hose and it's got a filter on it. And it sits there and, you, and it really never ever gets used until you're out in the middle of God's country and you run out of water. And you're like, well, shit. You find your stream, you find something, you throw that hose off in there with the filter on it and you refill all your tanks. That way you don't go an hour or two back into the farm. Now you guys spraying and being on your farm might be a little different, may not be there, but it's, it's just an option to, to go through. Um, I take you through Smart Farm. We do mission planning, uh, spray lane configuration. These are just things all, this is, this is just controller. This is not drone, this is not anything else. This is just me and you, me, us three sitting with the controller going through all of these things, showing, you know, this is how you do this, this is how you do that. This is getting your KMZ, your KML, your shape files, and then putting those into your computer, or into your um, um, controller, to where instead of you having to go out and hit the button and ride the motorcycle and do whichever and all that other stuff, um, it uh, it's, uh, you know, you're able to just, boom, it's there, you're done. Um, so that's one part of it uh, because that is very tedious to try to do. Uh, they do not make that easy. They make that extreme. They make it too hard. I don't. I don't like how hard they make that. Um, so these were the different packages. Um, this is the one Jonathan was talking about, the 12 month full one. Like I said, I know that's hard. I know that's a big hit. I know that's a lot. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's something that, like I, like I said, if we wanted to, if, if he would do something else and then later on in the year we pay out or do something different, I can do that. That's fine. I don't, I've, I work with people all the time. There's no, there's no issues at all. Whatever he'll approve for, I'll make it work in the end. We can add things. I'll give you the I'll give you the full access to this, and then later on as the year goes on, we'll progress with it. Um, I think once you start seeing a lot of savings with stuff, I think it'll be a lot easier to say, oh, I've got this much extra in my account now. I think I can you know do a little bit different. Um, 
but uh, these are the, the different things, you know, uh, some just go with the development one. They just want six months of protection. They want the digitals, um, and then they kind of go through there. This one is for really the software, like the M3M, you're getting that one right. That takes, there's just as much, if not more with it, than there is spraying. Um, uh, that drone in itself is a, a monster. I mean, it is so, so hard to, to do. Um, there's just so much with it. There's just so, so much with it. Yes, yes, uh, uh, yes, definitely. Um, because the, the parts that you'll use initially are easy. They're, they're not gonna be that, that hard to do. They're not, I can take you through those, you'll get the benefit of those. After the first year, when you get really deep into the weeds and stuff like that, um, I'm already, I've already taught you those weeds. So when you get into them, you're like, I remember doing this. So um, yes, the first year, it's definitely worth it because first year alone, just being able to spray levees, and being able to know how to do that is, is worth it. Um, so uh, most go with, like I said, most go with that one. If not, they get you know the, the development. Um, digital, that's just my online class. Um, and the precision spray is just like, you know, a day in the field. So um, does okay, uh, you know, past that, you know, we do hourly, stuff like that, and it adds up quick. Um, Digital Essentials, this is, so I created a class that I taught at Southern University this past summer uh, that's actually a, a college class you can register for now that is, um, um, it's a three hour class with a one hour lab and they teach you how to use a spray drill. I'm like every, every single thing I had in here, I put out in about 600 pages and their instructors took and made an entire curriculum out of it. So you get access to all the digital essentials, the modules. So literally like when you, when you go to Southern University and you go first day of the class, you're literally gonna get this. So you get access, you get your own login to this because I own this. Um, even though there's students in Louisiana that are taking this exact same class, um, you get the version that is not graded. You get the instructor version that is just lets you go back through it a hundred times. Um, so that's just, uh, that's that one. And then the third one is training. So, um, so this is just a, a little bit more of a condensed version of it. This just shows you what comes with it. Um, that's the hours. Now, this is a better breakdown of the modules. So it's not just reading, because I because when I took it, I didn't want to be boring and be like, gosh, you know, I, this is just the same stuff over and over and over again. So there's modules, there's quizzes, there's stuff that's interactive in there, like charging and electrical systems. I mean, there's 24 quizzes in there, um, and they're not hard, but it's stuff that I do it repetitiously because I want you to be in the field, and I'm trying to teach you critical thinking skills to where. Uh, of course, I'm always available. You can always call me. I will always, you know, if I don't answer, Grayson or someone here will answer and help you and take care of your problem. But um, I want you to be able to feel comfortable enough to say, oh, I've seen this. I know how to fix it. I know how to do this. Because ultimately, when this is, when we're all said and done, and it's just like a year has passed, like um, Jonathan there uh, that came over and talked to you, he's training his pilots now because he's went through all this stuff himself as well. And so he's actually training South Africans to fly for him. And we can all imagine how much they are. You know, they're a lot cheaper than, um, most drone pilots are about 50 an hour. So um, minimum. So um, for your own farms and stuff like that, that can get kind of expensive at 40 hours a week versus paying a South African who's already doing four or five other jobs for you. All you have to do since, because when I'm done with you and i am got you everything, um, your 137 is issued, you, who's it gonna be, who's gonna be the main person? You, okay, all right. What's your, and tell me your name again? Dalton. So when it comes through, it's gonna say, the FAA is gonna say, 
Uh, Dalton, you've, you have you know, met all the FAA guidelines. You are now a, uh, the chief of operations for your farm, for short farms, and you are able to operate fully unencumbered based off whichever specialty licenses you have. Um, and then you are also able to check off and uh, all pilots and visual observers in your farm. And there's no limit. You can have 200, farm, 200 pilots if you want, 200 whatever you want. So at that point, that's a lot. And so used to, they didn't really, they weren't real stringent about it, but they really are now because doing this is giving you the power to sign off so many people. So, and there were guys that were real estate agents and guys that were you know, machine operators and just guys never been in ag at all. And they go back and, and they start running these spraying operations and suddenly these fields start getting scorched and there's just the most terrible things happening. And it's like, well, gee, I wonder why. It's, they weren't taught anything, which you guys already have an, so much ag background, know so much. But with this, this charging electrical system, that way you're going to know everything you know you're going to need on your trailer, and then if it breaks, you'll know how to fix it. Agriculture analytics and software training, that can be a lot because we're going to have to figure out what's going to work best for short farms. Is it going to be PIX 4D fields? Is it going to be Agromo? Is it going to be Salty? It's, I'm going to have to look at what y'all grow look at your yield maps, look at what y'all want to know, and then kind of go from there. So that's that's really what it's going to be. Um, so that's all the modules when you look at it. And so I mean, when you add them up, I mean, it's, what is that, 40A? I mean, it's it's almost 60 different modules of, of why, uh, of, of training and education that comes with it. And like I said, we can break that up if depending on how much the banker, I know he probably, most banker, most bankers don't like that, but if, if they knew what it was, and I'm trying to think of, there was one farmer that told me that it was, um, he had it listed as expert, expert consulting of, of, expert consulting of, of operation of equipment without failure was what he had to put down for them to approve it because basically without that education it would have it would have failed it would have you know went down or it would have done something so he had to put something like that on it so that's the biggest thing with it uh, let me go back and see what else I could find that's fun in here um, agromo I've got all kinds of things let's see um, you're going to be set up as commercial, <clears throat> which is a really good thing because you're going to get, um, at your age, um, you could potentially be handled a six to seven figure business. As much as you want to work, it's out there. Uh, this Arkansas Game and Fish, I didn't even do. I didn't want to do it. Um, this was a three day job for like $12,000. So um, there's as much work as you want to go, as young as you are, as much as you can travel. There's just so much. So having all this served up to you um, and with Tanner doing your trailer, you're gonna have a one hell of a trailer that's gonna be pretty much bulletproof. Um, having the drone, having the knowledge, all that other stuff. Um, you're backing out. I I'm not, I'm not sold on the top deck. I like it. I do. I like it. I, I don't think it's required, but it's, it's it, cause I've, I mean, I've had one trailer that has the top deck, but um, I see its uses and I think it's great. And if you can do it, do it. If you don't, then, you know, just make do with what you got. Um, but yeah, it's not required. You don't, you don't have to have it. Um, it adds visibility for sure. Um, but, you know, you don't always have to have, you know, sometimes I'll just stand in the back of my truck, stand on the top of my truck, you know, so it just kind of depends. Um, but anyway, um, man, any questions you got? Anything I can answer for you? All right. Um, I'm going to send more information like that over to you now that I found it and got it. Um, and I just encourage you to get on the socials, go through those as much as you can. Um, because I put a lot on there. Like I really put a lot of things on there so that you're able to, um, to see so much and 
uh, be as educated as possible. Yeah, yeah, that's a hard hit, yeah. I get it, and that's why I say, I know it's hard. Once we start going through this stuff, I promise, and then Isaac can probably speak to this too, it's a lot of stuff. It is a lot of stuff. And I come to you and Jonathan, wherever he's at, I come to you and bring you paperwork to sign and we go to the notary. And so we spend a lot of time together. And once you go through it, you're just kind of like, uh, I mean, could you imagine doing that, all this stuff by yourself? No. <laughs> I wouldn't be done. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no, uh, the, the people that are doing it that, have, that don't do it the way we do it are just doing it illegally. They're not doing this paperwork. They're not doing it. Um, and the thing is, is they're not going to be able to, um, I mean, they're gonna get a nice pair of handcuffs, you know, eventually. Um, but uh, also they're not gonna be able to be as effective as they could if they would just do it right. It's, and it's not that bad. So anyway, so yeah.